If you've ever wanted to create a link in bio site for either Instagram or TikTok, sometimes it can be kind of confusing to choose between the options out there. There are a number of websites that allow you to do this these days and they do tend to give a pretty good effect. However, I recently came across a site called Biosites, which is actually by Squarespace. And this video is not sponsored, I just wanna say this up front. However, if you don't know already, I've been using Squarespace for many, many years and Squarespace is an online website builder, so I have loved using them over the years I think they're super easy to use and they give a really professional effect with the websites that you build so if you're looking for a really trendy looking professional bio site builder this is a really really great one to try and I'm actually going to do a quick tutorial for you all today because it's completely free which is another reason I thought I'd film a video on this and I actually think bio sites are a really good idea to have if you are not looking at having your own website just yet you can definitely integrate link in bio sites into your website if you currently have one however if you're not really prepared to go out and make a website just yet or you just want something really basic to start with bio sites are really really fantastic for this so I thought I would actually take you through a quick tutorial today on how to create one another really great thing that I actually realized with bio sites which is the platform I'm going to be using today to create the site is that you can actually earn money off of them and you can actually start linking in different ways to earn money directly through them so as a content creator I think this is a really great platform to use as I mentioned if you are not prepared to create a full website website just yet this is a really good landing platform to have in your Instagram or TikTok bio so I want to get straight into the tutorial today and show you how you can create a completely free bio site so let's get into it so we're here on the Biosites website and I'm going to get straight into creating a new Biosite. I am actually going to be making one for my Kaylee Journeys account. So if you're unaware, I do have an Instagram account that is mainly for my travel content creation and it is called at Kaylee underscore journeys. So I'm actually going to be creating a Biosite specifically for that account today because I already created one for my other Instagram account using this. So I wanted to do one from scratch. So we are going to jump straight into that. And first off, I'm just going to go to create a free bio site. So I'm going to use the username Kaylee Journeys. Hopefully it's available, which it looks like it is, which is great. So after I've done that, I'm just going to click on the arrow and I'm going to sign in with my Google account, which is connected to that. Okay, so the really great thing with this is they have some beautiful templates straight off the bat. So if you're really lazy and you like to just get straight into it, you don't want to spend too much time with colors and having to figure out your template and pick certain things and do all the detailed stuff, this is a really good option for you. Um, so just going through some of the templates. So some of them are really nice and they're very responsive kind of sites. I just feel like they've got a really nice professional touch to them. And we're just gonna go through some of these and see which one kind of looks like it could be a travel content creation one. So I kind of feel like I'm pretty minimalist and I do very much like this last one here, but if we go back to the beginning, I do like some of these ones as well. I feel like I might go with the last one though. I do like that template and we can kind of tweak that pretty easily. So let's try this one first. And I'm going to add my profile photo. Okay. And then I'm going to add all of my social media handles. So I really like this option where it just looks so streamlined and not everything is in a list. I like the idea of having my other social media accounts at the top so people can easily click forward to them if they wanna go and check those out instead of having them all in kind of a block underneath and it sort of gets confusing to read after a while and a little bit messy. So I really like this idea and I've just added my wrong social handle, I've just realized. I get really confused because clearly I have too many social media accounts. <laughs> so I'm going to add TikTok and Instagram. And I'm also going to add my YouTube channel that I have with my partner, which is called Wonder Walkers. And that is for travel content creation as well. So it's all really related. You can also add on different social media sites. So for example, if you wanted to add on X or Facebook, Snapchat, Spotify, you can also just add your email address here, which I'm actually going to do. Okay, and then 
go next. And here's where a really, really good part of it is. And the main part obviously is where you can add all your links. So to your content, your website services and more, if you've got any particular affiliate marketing links that you want to put in here or campaigns that you're doing with anyone at any given time, this is a really good space to utilize that. At this current point in time, I don't really have anything in particular that I need to add. Only because my Instagram is still developing and I don't really have too much outside of that Instagram at the moment, apart from the YouTube channel I have with my partner, but I will be utilizing this in future. And I think it's a really great way to do so and have everything very streamlined. Okay, so now it says my site is live and you can see here the URL is just bio.site slash Kaylee journeys. And so we can go into continue editing. So this is where we can kind of customize everything a little bit more. So in here we can add a little description. So I'm just going to be saying something along the lines of, I'm an avid traveler, photographer, content creator, currently based on the south coast of New South Wales. Australia. Now here's where we can change the design a little bit more. So you can go through these and see which kind of suits. I feel like none of these really suit. The first one was definitely the best. Um, the creative section is where they can be a little bit more funkier. So you can kind of choose Polaroids, different styles like that. There's also a bold section which I actually do love this. I kind of love this archway. I'm very much for the arches at the moment. I don't know what it is, but that design I just love. So you can get these ones here, which are very, very funky, but I think I might go for this one actually to start off with, only because I don't really have anything underneath as well um, that I can direct people to. So I may as well look, make it look a little bit more fancier. If I stick to minimal though, you can actually also put a photo in the background there. So yeah, I actually really love how that looks. Uh, obviously, as I mentioned, I don't really have any links that I can put down the bottom, but if I go into the bold and choose that archway again, it actually does come up in the background and I don't even hate that. So I'm going to keep that for now. And then we're going to go to the next step, which is looking at the section. So I think that this is really amazing how customizable this whole thing is. Uh, I think that it's really hard with some of the other link in bio sites. They don't really give you that customizable option, which can be frustrating. So the great thing about this is you can actually receive tips as a creator and you can also receive crowdfunding. So if you're working on any particular projects as a creator, you can actually link this up and start to get some sort of funding from your following, which I think is really great because it's directly through the bio site and you're not having to link through to other websites. So as I mentioned, you can add more social sites here if you need to and any links that you want to include as well. If we go down to the teardrop here, you'll see that we can start to change the text. So I'm going to go through a couple of these. Let's see what they look like. I kind of think I like Playfair. But I do like Leto as well. So maybe I should just stick to something simple. I'm pretty bad with decision making when it comes to stuff like this. So I really should just leave it as is. I actually like Laura as well though. Oh God, now I'm going to get confused. Um, that feel when you've got too many options. So I think I'm going to stick with... Leto for now, because I like how it looks and I'm not going to confuse myself too much. <laughs> We're just going to stick with that for now. You can actually easily generate colors from the images that you've picked as well to use in the text. So if I click this, it will actually change the text and change the background and all of that as well. So I'm actually going to stick to another color scheme though. And this is another really cool aspect of bio sites is that you can kind of click on these and there'll be just ready pre-made color schemes, which I love. Cause again, decision-making is not always my forte. So we have some kind of light colored ones there, which I really do like actually. Uh, I'm going to go to dark though, and we'll have a little look and see what some of these look like. Probably a little bit too dark for my liking. If I go to animated, I kind of like this. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the animated ones, but maybe I'm just getting too over the top now. I don't know. I really like the Oslo one, but maybe we can go custom. Now I do like being fairly subtle with this kind of stuff and I don't like to go too over the top, but I do kind of love some of these options. I'm not going to lie. These are really, really great. I think for now, we're just going to stick to something fairly simple. I kind of like the gradient, so I might stick with that for now. And I'm going to click update. 
Let's go back to the templates though, because I'm interested to see how this looks on my other one. And I kind of like how that looks as well, but I must admit, I do like how this looks. So we're going to stick with this for now. As I mentioned, I don't have any links, so I think that this looks better for now. But the great thing is I can go in and change it at any time. And we can also go into the graph on the side here. So if we go down, you'll see that you can also have statistics. So you can see how many views and clicks you're actually getting on this, which I think is really wonderful because again, a lot of the time with paid sites, they will ask you to subscribe before you can kind of get this sort of information. But I think that that's really wonderful. The next section as well, will go into depth about tips and then crowdfunding, as I mentioned previously. So if you are looking at kind of getting payments more directly through your link in bio site, this is a really great way to do so. And then a really, really cool function of these sites as well is that if you are looking at starting a mailing list if you're looking at starting a newsletter you can actually get people to leave their emails phone numbers whatever you need actually directly through the bio site so there is a mailing section that you can add and you can actually start getting that information if you need to but overall I think I am pretty happy with my bio site at the moment I'm still thinking about the coloring of the site background I don't know I think it's a decision making thing coming into effect again I feel like I just need to commit Okay, I'm committing and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. So I'm going to update it. And that is going to be my new link in bio site for Instagram and TikTok. So I'm really happy with how that's turned out. And if you want to make your own free link in bio site, just visit biosites.com. And again, this video is not sponsored. It is just a site that I came across recently. I actually got an email about it from Squarespace saying that this was a fairly recent launch. And I couldn't even believe that I hadn't heard of it yet because I just think that this is a really good idea for creators who are looking at as well, sticking to a budget, not having to subscribe to everything. And this is a free way to create those sites. If you made a bio site let me know down in the comment section below and feel free to link it there but hopefully this video was helpful for you so this is essentially what my bio site will look like when it's finished and I have just added in a couple of links here even though they're kind of fake links for now they are links to my other websites just to show you what essentially it looks like when it's all finished but I'm really happy with how this turned out overall thank you so much for watching this video today and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you do because I'll be posting a lot more videos like this one let me know down in the comment section below if you've already tried bio sites or if you currently use another link in bio platform to create those little landing pages let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear but thank you so much as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video